Hello, my name is Joe Brandeski, and I'm the editor of the Yaroslav Molina in Scenography and Painting book, which is to be promoted for the Prague Quadrennial in 2023. Yaroslav Molina was my friend and colleague for 29 years. We worked together on three productions in here in the States, but he, of course, is famous for his well over 400 productions designed in the Czech Republic and all over the world. He was uh, head of the PQ a couple of times. He was involved in work with a variety of universities around the world. And through the course of the productions that I worked with him on and the various other projects, including several exhibits of his paintings and designs that I organized here in the United States, we had many, many conversations, and the conversations led to, uh, they were really a long-term tutorial for myself and for the many students who benefited from his wisdom. The book itself is a reflection of all of those contributions, both his uh, free work, his painting, as well as the sonography that he was well known for. The essays were written by a number of people, both from the Czech Republic, from other countries, including Vlasta Kobska from Czech Republic, uh, Viera Velamanova, who probably had one of the more difficult essays, and that was a, a meditation, I would say, about the interrelationship between Yaroslav Molina and Josef Svoboda, who was, of course, working at a similar time, although under different circumstances. Um, the other essays, Nina Couch from here in the United States wrote a wonderful essay about his opera designs, which you can see a poster for Faust behind me. That was uh, a large part of his uh, creative output in the latter part of his career. In addition, Jules Deering, a friend from the uh, United Kingdom, uh, lives in London, wrote an essay recreating one of his most famous productions here in, or <laughs> there in Prague. And he did it basically through looking at the printed record, but also videotapes of the performance itself of Midsummer Night's Dream, a quite well-known production of the era. Uh, in addition, I... Uh, through these conversations, many conversations, I decided to videotape uh, a number of hours of, of conversations with Mr. Molina, and the results of those videotapes are transcripts that were done by my good friend Dennis Christillis, uh, and they are fully represented as a section of the book with Dennis Christillis's notes uh, to those translations. The final essay in the book was by Pavel Drabek and focuses on the painting. Yaroslav referred to it as his free work, his painting that was not for uh, a design but for his own pleasure. Uh, and they are quite wonderful in and of their own, uh, on their own merits. But there is also a kind of interaction between his free work and the designs for his painting, uh, designs for the stage, but also the designs that he used for many of the posters. Uh, for the uh, productions, opera productions, especially towards the end. Um, I think that the book itself s gives an overall picture of Mr. Molina's contributions to the world in terms of both his scenography and his painting. And I should mention that I personally did write a long essay about uh, his, how he got to where he was, both from his childhood during World War II, through growing up in the communist era, his struggles uh, with education and also with his profession during the period of normalization, as well as the work that went on after that, after the change, after the Velvet Revolution. It's an uh, all-inclusive text uh, that I think is... is uh, gives a wonderful picture, a wonderful look into the life and uh, work of one of the masters of Central European art uh, from the late 20th into the early 20th, 21st century. 
I should also mention that the book was uh, honored with the Oscar G. Brockett Golden Pen Award from the United States Institute for Theater Technology in March of 2022. I do hope that you'll have a chance to take a look at this book, and uh, I wish you all the best.